Hi everyone and welcome to my review of Stephen Summers, The Mummy, in 1999. So, another rewatch today, um, and yeah, uh, this is a film that, you know, it's, it's not too acclaimed, um, and, you know, it was made in 1999, um, and, it's, you know, so it's basically, it's a very loose uh, remake, of course, of the, you know, the 1932 one, which I have not yet seen, um, but I will be seeing quite soon, because <clears throat> I have the Monsters collection, you know, the classic ones, um, and... I'll basically be watching all them and reviewing them, but this is the one that I saw a lot as a kid, um, and I, as well I can't wait to check out the Hammer one. Um, but this one, you know, I saw a lot as a kid. Um, <clears throat> it was one of my kind of films that I'd watched quite a lot, um, and you know, I had it on uh, VHS, and um, yeah, no, I think you know I hadn't seen it really properly for quite a few years, um, and you know, I know now, of course, it's not not that acclaimed, you know, especially as well the sequel, uh, The Mummy Returns. Of course, they really work the box office, that's why it spawned the sequels, um, of course. You've also got The Scorpion King, um, which I also saw um, as a kid, but I didn't watch it too much. And then, of course, the, uh, the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, I believe it is. Um, I've not really seen that, actually. Um, <clears throat> but yes, the first one, you know, I, I did watch the most. And, yeah, of course, um, not that loved, you know. It's got a, a solid 7 on IMDb. Um, you know, but it, it's notable for many, many uh, things, of course. Um, and... Yeah, John Hanna as well is in the film. Brendan Fraser, who really is not liked um, as, a, <coughs> as an actor. Um, and, of course, um, The Mummy himself is played by Arnold uh, Vosloo. Um, and you've got Rachel Vi uh, Weiss as well. And, you know, you've got uh, you know quite a lot of uh, famous actors in the film. And, yeah, you know, it, <coughs> you know a lot, a lot of people like it. Um, and I didn't know, you know, I, I knew it would still be enjoyable. Um, but would it be, you know, quite as good as I remembered? Um, and the answer is pretty much yes. Um, you know, maybe not quite as, as good <coughs> as I originally, you know, thought of it, but, but considering how panned it is and a lot of the time and how, <coughs> you know, low people think of the film, um, I actually did love the film still. And, um, you know, I was actually going to have a break from um, doing my, <coughs> today doing my, my favourite film, you know, review, a view from my favourite films list. Um, because, you know, I've been doing that on my 500 favourite films. And, you know, I, I didn't really have to have a break. Because actually this is, you know, and and, and not many people would kind of, um, they'd be quite shocked. But this is actually on there. Um, yes, I know. Uh, and, you know, it's it's right at the end. But, you know, it is on there for now. So technically, I don't have to do two tomorrow um, to, to make up for that. I have actually done, a I have reviewed the film for this. Um, so yes, you know, I do love the film. It has some flaws. Um, <coughs> quite a few flaws. But it really, I think, it's one of the most underrated films of around that time. You know, it's um, it's got some issues, you know. And, um, you know, you've got the, the kind of um, prologue at the beginning where, you know, you've got this the, uh, the, the priest Imhotep, um, of course, played by Arnold Vosloo. Um, and, of course, you've got the, the woman that he, he loves, Anax and Moon. And it basically shows how, um, through their kind of, um, their love, um, you know, both of them get kind of killed, and then you know it gets mummified in really, really brutal fashion. <clears throat> you know, you, you, it's quite, um, you know, for its age range and stuff, it's quite violent, um, quite graphic, and um, yeah, you know, a lot of stuff as a kid really scared me. Um, you know, and you know, there's a lot of stuff in it that's really quite shocking. You know, <clears throat> the bit where he gets mummified as well, I loved all that, and then you, you, of course, you've got the kind of bit that jumps forward in time to the uh, you know nineteen. Um, Hundreds and uh, you know early nineteen hundreds, and then you see of course uh, Brendan Fraser, um, you know as Rick O'Connell, <coughs> you know fighting in, in the war, um, and basically, <coughs> you know three years later after that, you know he'd been captured, um, and then it jumps forward, um, you know to, to this character of Evie, and she's a librarian, and, and she's very interested in you know archaeology sort of stuff and stuff, uh, all that sort of kind of stuff. John Hanna is in the film as well as her brother, um, as uh, Jonathan. Um, and yes, I really like John Hanna. I love him a lot of things. He's great in the Sparkus um, TV series when he's in it. And yes, you know, you, you've got this and then you've got quite a, bit, a lot of great setup. And then basically they go, um, you know, on, on their travels um, in search of this um, this book. And they kind of team up these three characters, um, you know, um, Rick, Evie and, and of course Jonathan. And there's this guy that takes them there as well. Uh, it's in on this, this, this kind of deal. Um, and yeah, basically... Goes from there, um, and they go to Hamanatra, um, this kind of ancient ruins, 
and um, you know it's, it's kind of it's a fantasy film and it's an action adventure <clears throat> it's got romance in there as well and um, yeah it goes from there and it kind of gets better and better really um, you know I think it's got you know for, for what this film is it's got great spirit you know adventure spirit um, the action is surprisingly at times great um, I really would say <clears throat> you know it's got um, really a romance I care for although you know at times a bit cheesy in this film um, which took away from it a bit um, but not too much from my enjoyment and you know it's 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 got um, some great set pieces. Um, you know, actually really well directed. I would I would say for for me it really is. Um, the cinematography, although I watched it on Amazon Prime, so you know the, the picture quality and everything is not great. But you know from I remember of course anyway. Um, but yes, the cinematography is is actually really good at times. Um, I love um, <coughs> you know the the scenes in the desert mostly, how that shot is really really great. Um, you know, so you could call it some people could call it generic. I don't feel that. I think it's got a lot of the, the sweep as well that this film, film requires. You know, this film, I wouldn't expect it to be, um, <clears throat> you know, much like the original Mummy at all, obviously. Um, I'd say this one, this film kind of feels like looking at it now. Um, a little bit of Lawrence of Arabia in there, um, and mainly Indiana Jones. It feels more like that. Um, you know, that's the kind of take they were going for. <clears throat> you could kind of look at the trilogy, the original trilogy, because obviously not the, not the Crystal uh, Skull, but the, the original trilogy, and you can kind of from each film, they kind of um, really, um, you know, a lot of similarities um, all into this one. Um, mainly, you could say Raiders in terms of the stuff that happens and in, in fashion, and you know the way that the romance is mixed in with that action adventure kind of style. <coughs> in a, a lot of the same ways, and the way that you know, a lot of the mannerism stuff, um, you know, Rick O'Connell, it's kind of similar to Indiana Jones, and even the bits, you know, where they're just about to get I think cl closing down on them and stuff. Um, and then the kind of the kind of campiness that yes it is present in this film, um, and the kind of you know more childlike innocence and stuff it has um, is quite reminiscent of the Temple of Doom. And then as well you've got some of the legend stuff in it that is kind of like uh, Last Crusade. So it is it is more more like that if you you know if you've not seen the film and you have seen Indiana Jones, um, that's what to expect a bit more. It's not as good as any of the Indiana Jones films for me, but you know it's kind of like that um, in the way. And you know, for for an action adventure, um, I think this is great. You know, I think it's it has got some flaws, of course, um, but it's got the energy, it's got the adventure spirit, um, the charm for sure, uh, the kind of the warmth, um, and definitely the pace. Uh, you know, the flow um, that is required of this type of film, and uh, it's got it in spades. You know, it really <coughs> does it does deliver in a lot of aspects. You know, each kind of scene is just always got a flow. You know. There's, there's moments in this film where, yeah, a tiny bit cringy. Um, I think <clears throat> the romance isn't perfect, um, you know, between Evie and, um, you know, Rick. But, you know, it is really enjoyable. And for the most part, I did get, you know, I did really enjoy it. Um, and, you know, as well, Jonathan is a great side character. Um, adds a lot of humour to the film, <clears throat> you know. And um, the character, the guy that kind of is their guide at the beginning as well, or goes with him, um, he's, he's really funny as well. Um, it's got a lot of comedy, you know, and... Some unintentional, but you know, I can pass over that. I still really love the film, and um, you know, as well, <clears throat> it's got you know, it's got good editing as well. I feel, um, you know, a lot of the kind of subplots that go on, um, oh, it never really take away from the main narrative. And you know, I, I like the um, I like the character development, you know, it's not the <clears throat> the most deep of, deepest of uh, character studies or anything, um, but it is, it is there, and it is you know, really good. I think the script, um, mostly is really good, um. You know, um, <coughs> written and directed by um, the same guy, Stephen Summers. And yes, you know, um, I think visually it's, it's really good storytelling. Um, and the set pieces, you know, and everything, it's just, um, it does remind me of Indiana Jones, you know, mainly Temple of Doom, you could say, in that sense. <coughs> and um, in the set pieces. And, you know, there's, there's some CGI in here that is, it's not great, you know, I feel. Um, luckily, they used a lot of practical effects and, um, you know, it does work. To that extent, but you know some of the backdrops on that as well. The green screen isn't great. Um, there's a couple of times where it is good, um, and you know <coughs> some of the um, yeah, I, I just feel that some of the, some of the effects, the CGI effects, aren't quite there. Um, but some of the CGI is good, you know, and they use the kind of um, a mix of both for the um, the character of Imhotep, and actually the mummy design is really good. I feel, and <coughs> you know it does really really work. Um, yes, you can say there's a little couple of hiccups here and there when he's actually in human form and his mouth kind of stretches and stuff but really it's, it's 
actually not too bad for me. Um, and you know, I, I think the creature design was great. I loved as well the, the kind of um, the kind of zombie-like things that are there as well that he uses. You know, his army, uh, and that was really really good. The the fight scenes were great actually. You know, <coughs> the way it's been choreographed and um, the way it's been shot and edited, really really great actually. I think that's one of the best things about this film is the action. Um, you know, all the way from the opening kind of kind of battle, um, which was really really good. Um, so to, to the final act, which does not disappoint actually. Um, <coughs> you know, in terms of its action. And as well, it doesn't lose sense of the characters and stuff. The characters as well, you know, I just really enjoy um, the characters in this film. You know, as I said, not the deepest of characters. Um, and, you know, there's got there's some moments where, you know, Brendan Fraser, you know, kind of acts a bit stupid, uh, silly, you know. But it doesn't, it can kind of get away with it, I think, uh, within the tone of the film. <coughs> the tone is very, very campy, you know, is, um, there's no denying that. But it kind of, it kind of just, it doesn't take away too much for me. You know, it does dock, dock some marks off, you know, the overall camp throughout the film. And you kind of, at times, you know, the cheesiness, um, you know, it does take away a bit. But really, you know, there's some, some flaws that you know, don't drastically hurt the film. I think, you know, it is, um, it moves really, really well, the flow of it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really, really quite um, creative at times, you know, some of the, <coughs> the creature stuff and the action, for sure. And as well, you know, I, I like the way, you know, the exposition in the film, actually. I did, and I like it how you know the characters are given time to be built up at the beginning. <clears throat> yes, no, not always perfect character introductions, um, but once they all come together and they go on this, you know, this adventure, um, you know, to, to this temple and everything, I think is actually really, really enjoyable. Um, and I did really like these characters and care for them. <clears throat> and um, the trio, really, the, the main characters, I really, really liked. Um, you know, I did, I did really like the romance. I really like the character Jonathan, as I say. Brendan Fraser, you know, he's really underrated, actually, in this film. Um, I think he's one of the <coughs> best things about it, best and most enjoyable things about it. Um, I think he's got a lot of charisma. Um, yes, he goes a bit too far at times, but it's actually just, it's still funny. It's not, you know, a moment where you think, wow, that was terrible. <coughs> you know, it's, time's not great, what he does, you know, but it's just a couple of moments, and, you know, they're not... As I say, they don't really hurt the tone of the film, and um, it just kind of adds to the, you know the, f the funniness of it. And uh, really, he does he commands the screen? You know, he does carry himself. Um, yes, I know they were kind of. I can understand if people say this is like a rip off of Indiana Jones in that sense, but you know, I think as its own, you know, as its own film, <coughs> I think it is. It is actually quite great. You know, it's pretty amazing at times, um, and. You know, I just I just love the film. You know, it's not a film where you know I would say it's a masterpiece, um, or even you know high nine nines in what I give it. But it is a film that um, you know it is on my favorite films list because <coughs> and very very much at the end um, because I do absolutely love it. Um, you know, it's a very very charming film, great spirit. Um, as I say, um, I just love you know all its camp as well actually. Um, and it's, it's yeah, I admit you know some of the films that I wouldn't put on my list. I give maybe a higher score than this. Quite quite a few films, maybe you know, um, you know would um, it's you know it's not about that. You know, I'd, I'd say that this is <clears throat> there's some films that I I would give a higher score, but I don't like as much as this. Um, you know, if you know what I mean. And yes, you know, I don't think it's perfect. It's not a masterpiece or anything, but I do actually think it manages <clears throat> to get into that that great rating, which I'll reveal soon. But you know, as I say, um, great action. You know, a great adventure feel. I love the music. Um, the score by. Jerry Goldsmith, um, I actually watched Alien recently, um, yeah, of course he does that as well. The score is really wonderful, actually. Um, it's epic, stirring, and, you know, it does really work in that romance uh, stuff. Um, yes, you could say it's a bit, you know, uh, on the nose, maybe, and a bit cheesy, but, yeah, you know, there is one scene that I didn't like too much, actually, the only scene I didn't really like. The one where Evie is drunk, um, and, you know, she's just kind of <coughs> giving a monologue. Um, it's a less than a minute I didn't really care for that scene that was a bit cringy um, but the rest of the film um, you know the cheese and everything doesn't really affect my enjoyment too much um, it's just a case that the characters aren't masterfully developed um, so you know it doesn't go that high but I, you know as I say it's just it's, it's really really um, a film that I do love actually um, and <clears throat> probably quite alone on this um, it's not a loved film really um, you know and I'll probably watch the, the Mummy Returns quite soon as well uh, and some of the other ones, maybe. Um, not seen the Tom Cruise one, um, but that does not look good. 
and that looks like one of them soulless films. This one is not. It's really got a lot of charm, a lot of warmth and heart, um, and you know it definitely has a soul. You know this film is <coughs> it's not a lifeless action film. It really has a lot of energy, a lot of spirit, um, and that is required. And you know it just it's just such an adventure film. Um, it's kind of got everything you want really. Well, as a, as a kid, maybe you know I, I did think that um, <coughs> it's got flaws. You know I see them now. You know actually watching them. You know when I know fully about films, but still actually not too many flaws um, that hurt the film, certainly too much, and I do think it's massively underrated. Um, I'd I'd have to give this film a 90%. I do think it manages to just get into that great <coughs> score, you know, not a strong great, you know, not a definite and all-time great, um, and certainly not a masterpiece for me, you know, I understand that. But there's no denying I actually love this film, um, kind of from start to finish. I, I really love the, love the characters, um, I lo as well the side characters, um, you know, they're kind of there as well. Benny as well as a character that I forgot to mention him. That yeah, you know, he's not he's not perfect you know, in terms of the writing or the performance. Um, actually, the actor was in There We Blood, I believe, as well. Um, interesting, <coughs> but yes, you know, it's a character you, I kind of love to hate, you know, and um, there's some out there moments, you know, with him. But he kind of, of course, he joins uh, Imhotep and. Um, I kind of love how it all turns out with that, you know, it's, it's really, really good. And yeah, I, I cared about all the characters, um, pretty much, and I did really like, you know, the performance um, of Arnold Bosley. <coughs> you know, some people criticised it, I did like it, and, you know, yeah, it's just not, it, it's not the, uh, you know, it's, you could kind of say it's a bit one note, but for me, I did really like it, and I, I really like the performance, love the creature design, and yeah, this is, you know, a brilliant film. From start to finish, <coughs> it's got great action. I really couldn't con any of the action, to be honest. Um, really does deliver, actually. And um, you know, Brendan Fraser is actually really, really great in this film. I feel, you know, I love. I just really enjoy this film. You know, I love it. Um, Rachel Weisz as well, really good. Um, a couple of moments where she's not great, but you know, overall she is. John Hanna, I loved. Um, and yeah, as well, the, the character that helps him out. You know, the, the kind of the guy with the sword. I've forgotten his name. He's great as well. I really loved uh, him and uh, very campy as well, but it's all enjoyable and um, yeah, no, a lot better directed and, and shot than, than a lot of people give it credit for. <clears throat> you know, I think it's actually really, really well directed, to be honest. Um, it comes together, you know, it never feels um, <clears throat> like it falters in its um, in its acts, you know, and its flow. You know, it really does move. And, you know, I just I just really love this film. You know, it's, it's not one that I absolutely am obsessed with and adore to the core. <clears throat> but it is just on my favourite films list, and it is just um, a 90% great rating. Um, so yeah, um, definitely um, <laughs> quite alone on this, probably. Um, but I do love the film, and um, it just gives me the chills. You know, it's an epic film, um, really, really fun. Yeah, ca family, campy family film, but, you know, really, really enjoyable. <clears throat> Funny film, and um, yeah, I just really love um, the kind of the kind of you know creativity of it as well and the spirit it has you know um, and really fully commits to its uh, material so yeah thanks for watching my review of the mummy <laughs>